Hey, Demetri. Um, you know, we see you listed at running back. We see you at receiver. Do you have a preference? And what have the Browns told you about how they plan on using you? I don't really have a preference. You know, I feel like I can play both positions at a very high level. Uh, but the Browns told me that they wanted me to play running back. And so, you know, I'm, I'm excited to be able to go there, learn from the guys above me, and be able to provide for the team however they want me to. Is that a little bit of a surprise, given that you did some receiver work at the Senior Bowl? Uh, it's not a surprise to me. You know, um, I talked to a lot of different teams about uh, both positions. And sometimes I'll talk to teams and I'll talk to both position coaches. So there's no... It's not really a surprise to me. You know, I feel like I can go in there and play whatever position they want me to. Thank you. Thank you, Scott. Mary Kay Cabot is up next. Uh, yes. Yeah, so in terms of playing running back, how do you feel about joining a room that includes Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt? Uh, how excited are you to work with those guys, learn from those guys, and also compete with them? Oh, I'm super excited. Uh, I love to compete. So being able to go uh, practice against the best of the best and with them, you know, that's that's super exciting for me. I'm going to, you know, soak up all the information I can from them. So I'm, I'm just super excited for this opportunity. Thank you. Appreciate it, Mary Kay. Marla Reidenauer has our next question. Demetra, congratulations. Um, there's, I mean, there's not, not a whole lot of all purpose guys, you know, I mean, do you kind of take pride in, you know what I mean? Just having those skills to how much pride do you take in that? I take a lot of pride in it. Uh, you know, I take a lot of pride in making sure that I'm uh, good at multiple things. Uh, and I feel like I showed that in my college career and I'm really excited to bring that to Cleveland. Did you have to, did you sit in and meetings and different with the receivers and the running backs and all that stuff in college? Uh, yes, I did. I moved around rooms all the time. So I was really able to learn the whole offense that way. And being able to do that, you know, it just made me play the game faster and be able to be used in multiple roles. Do you hope that you don't have to pick one or they don't pick one? <laughs> Yeah, I, I hope that I, I don't have to pick or they, you know, I, I hope they're open with me. I hope they recognize that I'm someone who can, you know, be used in a lot of different ways. And so I hope they take advantage of it and I'm able to show just that. Thank you. Thank you, Marla. Nate Ulrich, go ahead. Hey, congratulations. Uh, how much do you enjoy um, the return game and do you hope to make a mark in that facet of the game? Definitely. You know, I, I, uh, I'm really excited and I hope that I'm able to do kick return and punt return. I want to get on anything that I'm able to do and show them that I belong there and that uh, I'm a playmaker. That's what I do. I make plays. I score touchdowns. I do all that. So I'm just really excited for the opportunity. Is there anyone from the Browns you kind of hit it off with in the build up to the draft that maybe gave you an idea this could be a landing spot? It was definitely uh, the special teams coach. I met him early in the process, but me and him had a really good, you know, conversation and it made me really want to go there. And so being able to talk to him, see how he wanted to use me, uh, that just made me super excited. Thank you, Nate. Jeff Shadell, go ahead. Uh, how excited are you to come to a team that is expected to not maybe even just challenge for the Super Bowl, but but win it. How cool is that? Oh, it's amazing. You know, it's it's really a dream come true. You know, I've been waiting for this my whole life, and to be able to go on a team that's surrounded by so much greatness uh, is really excited exciting for me. So I I just can't wait to be a part of the team. Thank you, Jeff. Dan Lobby, you have our next question. Hey, Demetri, congratulations. Um, there's a bunch of clips from on social media, wherever you look, of you running routes at the Senior Bowl and, and at UCLA. How would you describe yourself as a route runner? Uh, I, I feel like I'm a very uh, elusive route runner. You know, somebody who is able to sell something in order to get open uh, on a different route. Uh, you know, I feel like I'm very technical in my game. And that's a huge asset for me. Uh, I was a wide receiver first 
And then I moved to the running back room. So I was really able to translate those skills that I learned in the wide receiver room, bring them to the running back room. And the, that was huge for me to be able to be mismatched against linebackers who aren't able to, you know, move as fast as me and get in and out of breaks as fast as me. Who are some players that you've studied? Uh, I definitely study a lot of Alvin Kamara and Christian McCaffrey. You know, their versatility is something that I really try to apply to my game. And so I really watch those guys a lot and try to add whatever they do to my game and perfect it. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. Tom Withers, you're up. Thanks, Rob. Hey, Dimitrik. Um, are you in L.A. now or in Tennessee? Where are you at? I'm actually in uh, Menifee, California. That's where my parents live now. And so I'm just uh, here with them, enjoying the moment. Gotcha. Hey, I'm not sure where you thought you were going to go, but how tough is it to kind of, how nerve wracking is it to, to wait 210 picks before your name is called? It's, it's super nerve wracking. You know, there's, there's nothing like it. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm really excited for the opportunity and I'm so glad that the Browns picked me up. Uh, I'm ready to go in there and show them that they got a steal. Thanks, man. Thank you, Tom. Back to Scott Petrick. How did the position switch go at UCLA? Were you open to it? Did you resist it at all? Um, what was the reasoning behind it? Mm -hmm. uh, I was pretty open to it. Uh, I moved into the backfield uh, a couple times prior to permanently moving there. Um, it, I always knew it was in my background. I felt really comfortable with it. Uh, the reason why I did it, our starting running back, uh, Joshua Kelly, who's on the Chargers now, he ended up getting hurt. Uh, after the first day of fall camp and they were having depth issues. So the running backs coach, Coach Sean Foster, asked me if I was willing to move. I said, yeah. And then the next day I was in the running back room. And no, to... Sorry. Excuse me. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Oh, it's okay. You can ask your question. Um, no problem taking on that extra punishment that you get being the running back that gets all the carries? Mm -mm, I, I, uh, I'm not afraid of contact. Uh, I, I feel like I'm a very tough football player. So I wasn't worried about that. Um, you know, I just wanted to be used and help my team out whichever way they needed me.